Hi guys, and welcome back to Ma and Pa Reviews. This morning you guys watched my, um, how I washed my face routine. Ugh. But, um, I forgot that I had some errands to run, so I decided to hop in the shower and get ready for the day. So I'm going to show you a quick outfit of the day, and I also, um, showed you guys some new products I just got, and I did a simple how I straightened my hair, um, for the day video, so follow along and make sure at the end to let me know what you think. So first, I'm going to show you guys my outfit really fast. The first thing I'm wearing is this necklace I got as a product review, actually. I don't remember what company offhand sent it to me, but I'll leave the information down in the link. Um, the next one, the next thing I'm wearing is my shirt. Sorry, I'm using my iPhone today. Let's see if that's a little better. Okay, the next thing I'm wearing is my shirt. I actually got this at the Goodwill. Um, but I really like the, uh, the pleating detail up top. It really draws the attention up. And, um, this brand is by, uh, crap. It's by Crush Rain. Candy Rain. It's by Candy Rain. And, um, they actually have plus size clothing. That's what I really like. So check out the website. And, um, these are my A&A &A jeans I get at JCPenney's. I really like the brand A&A. &A. Um, these are just a nice, simple, uh, simple flare jean. Sorry, it's really hard to try to do this. With just a medium wash. And I usually will pair this with a cardigan, definitely tonight. And then I'm just wearing uh, a headband I got at Claire's. Um, and I'll probably just put some perfume on. And I won't wear any makeup just because we're going um, bowling, I think. And I'm not going to get hot, hot and sweaty. And it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. So um, check out the rest okay, of Okay, guys. I showed you my outfit. So let's start on my hair. The first thing I do after the shower is I towel dry my hair until it's still pretty damp, but most of the water's out of it. Like, you don't want to be able to squeeze your hair and get water out, but you want it to still feel damp and wet. And what that does is, it one, it speeds up the dry, uh, hair drying process, and two, you're not adding so much moisture in your hair where uh, the product is just coming off, because that's just a waste. So, the first thing I usually do right after the shower is I add some kind of volumizing foam. Uh, volumizing foam is really good for like people like me that kind of have thinner hair. And what I'm looking for is to like really just thicken up my hair to give it a thicker look and add some more body to it. But I don't want to lose the movement of my hair. Like I don't like products that leave my hair looking like I'm wearing products. Like I want a natural looking product. And one thing I just got is the volumizing foam by New York Streets. And what I like about this is, I mean, just a couple pumps is all you need. And it's really easy. And the instructions are really easy. It's just a simple volumizing foam. I mean, it covers two pumps, covers both hands. And what you want to do is, I usually just start at the roots. And then I work my way through. And then, like I said, like, you don't want a product that makes it look like you're wearing product. And that's what makes... The New York Street Volumizing Foam, such a good one, is because it really leaves your hair nice and light. Like, once I dry it, you guys will see it better. I mean, it just, look, it just looks water right now. But, is water a word? I don't know. So, okay. After that, I'm going to plug my Shilo heat protectant spray one more time. Sorry, guys. And I use this every day, like I said. Right out of the shower, just give yourself a couple good sprays of this. And what that's going to do is going to put that moisture back in your hair and you're not going to fry it. But today, I'm just going to start by blow drying my hair. I'm just going to wear it kind of straighter today and just pin it back a little bit. So I'm going to start the blow dryer right now. So that's what you hear. So really fast, I'm just using my Amika hair dryer that I was sent. So if you're interested, again, I'll put the link below and you guys can get more information about this guy too. What I like is it has the attachments. So I can really start with my roots and get those nice and dry and then work out. But, um, okay, here we go. Sorry. Let my brush through my hair. And my hair is pretty naturally straight. And I'll give it that much. And I really like the look sometimes of just wearing your hair just kind of naturally straight. And so I think I'm just going to straighten it just a little bit more. And then probably later in the day I'll pin it up if I get hot. But before I do that, I want to grab um, this next product. And this is amazing. Let me tell you. 
almost as amazing as my hair looks right now. Let me tell you guys really fast before I tell you something else. Um, look how much movement and body. Just that two pumps of volumizing spray really gave my hair. I mean, you saw it. Like, you've seen it before in, like, a couple of the videos. But, I mean, and look at the movement. Like, I'm, like, shaking my head. Like, scratching it. And it falls nice. It falls back nicely. And, but it's holding the volume. And it's not frizzy. I mean, let me get really close. I mean, there's no real frizz. And, I mean, I have that pretty hot on my hair dryer. But, what I like to do is I like to use this next product. And what it is, it's the uh, Teodora Rainforest in Dawn. And what this is, is a bath and body oil. And this thing is so great, guys. It has five, um, what is it, different oils in it that uh, combine. This makes this an all-around, like, multi-purpose, like, bath product you want to keep in the bathroom. Um, let me look up. I wrote it down because I can remember them all. Um, it has uh, patini, barbasu, brazil nut, rose hip seed, maracuja, and um, all these plus the ingredients um, makes this, like they call it, because of all the ingredients and like those five essential oils, they call it the icon of the rainforest, and that's how it got its name. So there's two different kinds. Um, there's, uh, Rainforest and Dusk and Rainforest and Dawn. And I picked the Dawn just because, like, I love, uh, Rose Hip Oil, uh, Rose Hip Seed and, um, Brazil Nut and all that. And it just felt lighter and all that. And I'm just rambling right now. But what's great about this is it has so many different purposes that you can use it for. Um, you can use it, uh, as, like, a nurturing oil. So you can put it on before or during a shower. And it'll rehydrate your skin. Um, you can use it after you're done with the shower. So when you're all done and dry, you can hit, like, your uh, rougher parts of your skin. It'll leave it nice and smooth and it'll rehydrate it. Um, you can even drop it in the bath. Like, put a couple drops in with your bubble bath and let the power of the rainforest take over. Um, something I use it for is massage oil. Like, if my fiancé has a rough day, I'll massage, like, his shoulders and stuff with this. And it won't leave him really greasy or oily. Or, um, the things that I like the best for it is for my hair. I will put it in, like, my scalp, like, in the shower. And I'll, like, uh, rehydrate my scalp and reduce the dryness and all that. Or, right before I style it, style it I put a couple drops and be careful, sometimes when you open it really fast, it like spits at you, and I don't like that. But I'll just put a couple drops in my hand. You don't need much, definitely with oils. And I'll just hit the roots of my hair before I start um, straightening it or curling it. And that's just going to add some extra shine and just some extra moisture and protection. So, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm not going to hit the roots, I'm just going to hit the ends. So, like, hit the ends of them because that's where really the lot of the steam and a lot of the heat from your hair straightener is going to hit. So, um, now I got three products in my hair. So, mind you, I only have three products. So, I have the Shilo Heat Protectant, the Teodor, uh Rainforest and Dawn um, Bath and Body Oil, and I got the New York Streets Volumizing Foam. And right now, I'm just going to grab my... Um, my more hair straightener that I've used in the fall. And I'm just going to run it through. And let me show you how nice and shiny your hair is left after just using these products. I mean, I get compliments. Like, this is my natural hair color. But I get compliments, like, asking, like, what salons I go to and stuff. Because, like, people love, like, the natural highlights in my hair. And you watch. This summer, my hair will go blonde. Like, bleach blonde. And, and the... It's because, it's because of my heritage. My mom's Mexican, and my dad, he has to be Polish or something, because he's white as a ghost. So, like, I have my dad's fair complexion, my dad's fair hair, and for some reason, I was born with black hair. It goes from brown to blonde, I tell you. So, I don't really treat my hair, like, I don't have to worry about treating it for, like, colors or anything. And that's one way, like, to save on cost and stuff. And so, I'll just leave my hair up like this. But look how nice and shiny it has. It has good volume. It has nice shine, but it doesn't look oily or greasy or, like, 
um, anything like that. And what's great about the Shilo, it's 24 hour protected, so I can use, I don't have to reapply it if I want to touch up later. And that Teodora Shine will last all day. Um, and the next day it just washes out, it's water soluble. So, and the same with the volumizing spray. But usually I get good two days out of the products I use in my hair before it starts looking oily or greasy. And that's what I shoot for. The least I have to treat my hair or do my hair, the better. Okay guys, I am all ready to go out with my friends. I just added a simple headband to really tie in my nice hair. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button below. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!